kicked on Diddy Combs, the music icon, now under arrest. This after a grand jury indicted the music mogul just last night. Now, this indictment is expected to be unsealed this morning, but good day's Robert Moses. He joins us from Lower Manhattan with the very latest. Robert, good morning. Tashani and Dan, good morning to you. The arrest went down last night at a hotel about four miles to the north of this courthouse where Diddy will appear later on today. We expect prosecutors to lay out their evidence against him in a matter of hours. Homeland Security officers arrested 54-year-old Sean Diddy Combs last night at the Park Hyatt on West 57th Street. In a statement, his attorney, Mark Agnifilo, said Combs relocated to the city last week in anticipation of the charges which Agnifilo told the New York Times he believes are sex trafficking and racketeering. Combs will be arraigned today. U.S. Attorney Damian Williams said the prosecutors will have more to say when the indictment is unsealed this morning. Agnifilo called his client an imperfect person but not a criminal and an innocent man with nothing to hide. In November, Diddy's one-time girlfriend and protege, the R&B singer Cassie, sued him, accusing him of years of abuse which she said included beatings and rape. The suit was settled the next day, but the fallout was not over. More women filed lawsuits against him, alleging sexual abuse and misconduct. In March, evidence of the federal investigation into Combs burst into public view when Homeland Security officers simultaneously raided his mansions in Miami and Los Angeles. In May, he apologized after CNN aired video of him punching Cassie, throwing her to the floor, and kicking her inside a hotel in Los Angeles in March of 2016. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. In June, he returned a key to New York City after Mayor Eric Adams asked for it back. That same month, Howard University cut ties with him and rescinded an honorary degree it awarded him back in 2014. Diddy is the biggest name in the music industry to face criminal charges since R. Kelly was sentenced to 30 years behind bars back in 2022 for various crimes, including sex trafficking. We're live at federal court in Lower Manhattan this morning. Dan and Tashani, back to you. And Robert, his attorney said that he was arrested last night at 8.30. Is he still behind bars this morning? Yes, he's in custody, so we won't see him walking in this morning. He will uh, remain in custody until his court appearance here. All right, Robert Moses, thank you.